Okay, so I know you play golf, so I want to test your uh, golf knowledge. It's nothing. Let's do it. It's nothing. I mean, obviously you know what a birdie is. A birdie, that's a, that's a mild-mannered snitch. A little birdie told me, right? A birdie snitched. Yeah. That birdie's an eyewitness. I'm James Davis, and I'm an actor, comedian, and writer. I never thought much about eating healthy until my body let me know, hey, sucker, it's time to think about eating healthy. Now I'm on a mission to learn how the best athletes in the world fuel their training with healthy, simple food. Because it turns out every job is like a sport, and every meal counts. I had to have my girl Michelle Wee pull up on me. She's one of the best golfers in the world. She's already won the US Women's Open. I look up to her, and she's like on that Tiger Woods level. And she's going through my bag. And I don't want people to know that I still use CDs. <laughs> wow. Whatever she's doing to be as elite as she is, I need that. Look, don't talk to me like I don't know my golf. Uh, this is a gadget. You've seen this. The, swing. <laughs> the, the thing yeah. that, that keeps you. Yeah. You know, yeah. Do you, you don't need this. I use it. You use it? Yeah. Woo! This is my caddy who's obsessed with balls. His name is Gatsby. Oh, pulled Ooh, it and tried to bank almost. it in. So you want it to be completely perpendicular to the ground. And then if it's a flat putt, it would be completely flat. But, but it's if it's not. Leaning. It's leaning. That's where it's breaking? Yeah. That one didn't break right. It did a little bit. I pulled it. Gatsby threw me off. <laughs> Gatsby, do not eat the ball. I just. Oh, we're peeing on it. Oh. <laughs> Gatsby's like, let's cook. Let's do it. Teach me something. Let's get out of here. OK, so I see onions, mm -hmm. garlic. So whatever we make, our breath is going to be awful. Awful. Afterwards. It's great for date night. Well, ladies love me for my <laughs> spirit. Oh. I said a boom shakalaka. I just like to keep it really colorful. I think the celery, the carrot, it brings like a little bit of texture into it. We got some lean ground turkey meat right here. We're using zucchini noodles instead of normal noodles. Why? Just because to keep it lighter. Okay. I think zucchini also provides a lot of fiber um, and it's really filling. Okay, now what's, yeah. what's the name of this? It's kind of like a healthy turkey bolognese sauce. Okay. Yeah. What's the cool name for this? Because turkey balaganese <laughs> is not going to have people <laughs> rushing. Yeah, I don't like, what's, is that the, the balaganese? Right there? I'm not excited. Well, what, what, what would you call it? Mm. What, how would you make it interesting? Wheezy's balaganese's. No, that's not it. That's not it at all. I jumped the gun. Let's just focus on <laughs> the lean turkey. Yeah. Okay, so now what? Okay, we're going to make the zucchini noodles. Super easy. Just go like this, and then just turn it. It's fun. Let me do it. Let me, that, this okay. is fun. Let me do this. Okay. Let me do this. I'll okay. do this. Okay, you do that. And then I'm going to turn this uh, fancy stove on. So this one will do seven. Heat the pan. Let it heat up for a little bit. And then I like to pour some olive oil. I'm getting real aggressive over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want some pasta? You want, you want all this pasta? You want some carbs, baby? That's enough. I'm wasting it. I'm sorry. I'm listening. Okay. okay, and then I like to flavor the oil. Flavor it for like a good, you know, a minute, but you don't want to do too much, because then it'll get bitter. Bitter like your competition on the course. Oh, hey you're beating them. And then you put the onions, but the hard vegetables, because these are going to take longer to, to cook. Carrots, and then I like to add the mushrooms in last, because it does, definitely doesn't take as long. Okay, so we're adding this in now. You want to salt bay it? Yeah, I'll salt bay it. You got to do it like this. You got to go really high, dramatic. Yeah. I think I missed most of the that time. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. So turkey meat is a little bit more bland than um, when you use beef. Uh -huh. So you got to add a little bit more herbs, a little bit more seasoning. This is Italian herb. Yeah. Right there. Oh, you yeah. Take that. We do like a little healthy portion of that. Give that pop. Yeah. And then uh, tomato sauce, please. Oh. Just pour it in. Pour it all in. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, and oh. I'm close down on my Nike now. Hold on. Yeah. Can't get no tomato sauce on I your Nike. I can't have tomato sauce on my drip. 
What's a duck hook? A duck hook. That's when you're fighting somebody, right? Uh-huh. And right before they hit you, you, you duck, duck, and then hook. you come up with a hook. Yeah. Makes sense. It's what, what I like to call it a harukin. So tell me about this dish. How did you come across it? How was it originated? So my dad used to cook me pasta all the time. And that was like a nostalgic thing. Um, and my husband's Italian, and his mom makes an amazing meat sauce. This is nowhere near like it. And I was like, you know, I really want meat sauce, but I just don't want to feel heavy. And we loved it. What does nutrition do for you as a professional golfer? Yeah, I mean, I think it, people say you are what you eat, and I think that's completely true. Um, you know, if you put junk in your body, you're going to feel like junk. OK, so want to cook the noodles? Oh, man, I thought we were done. Ain't nobody in the back who's already made the noodles? <laughs> Voila! Shazam! It'll, it'll just take two minutes. Fly in the noodles! It looks very hearty. I, I, it it, it makes good. me want to eat it and then do bench press. Bench press? Bench press? Bench press? Stop! <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> I might need somebody to help me put this other glove on. So we like to cook it al dente, as they say. Al dente? Mm-hmm. OK. So a little bit on the firm side. That's what al dente means? Mm-hmm. Firm side. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Feel my abs there. <laughs> al, dente. al dente. They're not really, though. But soon they will be. Want to salt bay me up again? <laughs> that looks good. It's healthy, but like it's, you know, super filling. Look at me, I'm like a kid at the cafeteria. Dish me up. <laughs> yeah. I got class in an hour. Oh, that turkey. All those veggies. Look at that. Look at that. The moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. Yay. That was good. When I like food, it makes me do stuff like this. <laughs> I like this dish. Yeah? Gonna have to cook it for Bay. Do mm -hmm. I have a Bay? Not right now, but after she tastes it, she will, will be, be Bay. Bay. You yeah, feel me? I feel you. How long have you been aware of nutrition as far as functionality? You started playing golf at four. I know yeah. at four you weren't thinking no. about nutrition and carbs. No, I mean, carbs. Like, no, like 20 years ago, there, was not, there, there wasn't much about nutrition. Growing up, I was quite the chunky kid. Fast food was my main source of... <laughs> but, but that's because parents didn't know, we didn't know. We thought, you know, it's all, it's all good for you. And then I got injured. I was 17. I broke, you know, three bones in my left hand and ended up taking, you know, a lot of you know, painkillers to play. The doctor prescribed me, mm -hmm. but I was, like, young, um, and I ended up getting an ulcer. Oh, sure. Um, so since then, um, I've been very aware about what I put into my body. So I've created all these, like, food sensitivities, just wasn't digesting things the same way. And then I just started realizing I need to eat better. I need to actually pay attention to what I put into my body. I was so inflamed. I needed to do things to decrease inflammation. Which is why I started to eat like this. And then I got really, really strict. I almost got, like, too strict. Mm -hmm. I was writing things down, everything I ate. I almost got, like, a little bit too obsessed with it. Like, writing what the fat and the carbs yeah. and the calories. Yeah. Had a little journal. Exactly. It was just too much. So now I'm, like, trying to find, like, a good balance of just being aware. You can get stuck in a, you know, a phase where you eat bad and your body feels bad, but then you're, like, ignoring the signs. You're ignoring your body communicating. Whereas if you listen to it, then you can kind of get your back on track. And if you are on track, you're you feel great. This one is specifically for you. Why? What, what, what you saw? Do I look stiff? Hands on hip. Doom. And just doom, roll doom, it doom. around. Being a sports person, being in the game is all about how can you make it better for the next generation. And golf has such a stigma, but the way I know it, it's such a cool sport. And having it be in the Olympics was a big step, um, just because it opens the game up to so many countries that haven't even been in the game before. And because if you think about it, people that just start golf, where do they even start? So I wanna, you know, inform people of fun places. There's golf courses where my friend brings their dogs to, or, you know, like, can bring their kids to. So if we can make that a little bit easier and more accessible, mm. I think that we can get a lot more people into the game. 
you saw me cooking, I just like feel it, you know? And mm -hmm. that's kind of how I play golf as well too. I mean, you know, you know if you have the right club in your hand, like you know. Yeah. And you have to make a conscious decision to do things that make you happy. And cooking is definitely one of them for me. I love food, I love eating it. But I love making it as well, but I feel more into the process. And once I eat it, it's more fulfilling. And that's something I really didn't, you know, hone into a lot. And I think a lot of people don't really realize that as much as it is about the numbers and the articles and all the information, you have to trust your gut. Yeah, exactly. All right, mm -hmm. don't touch that plate. That's mine. <laughs> what is a chunk? What is a chunk? That's when you fart and it comes with a little something extra. Everybody's had a chunk. Oh my God. No one's undefeated. <laughs>